as a stronger country, it has the bigger obligation to be magnanimous and show trust and to, to earn the trust of the Filipino people by conforming its uh, activities to recognized norms of international law, which in our case is UNCLOS. You know, uh, we're, we're talking about the arbitral award. It has already been stated by our two past presidents that uh, our rights and our territory are defined by UNCLOS, and uh, it has been stated too that this cannot be frittered away or bargained away by passages of administration or passage of time. Now, what, what I'd like to point out is, not, I, I, and I wrote an article before, uh, it's published, so I can't take back what I said. It is not only important uh, to take into consideration what the uh, specifics of the arbitral tribunal said, but the process by which it was done. It was done by an independent arbitral tribunal of experts in international law where he had China participated would have a, had a chance to demonstrate its legal position in a fair and impartial proceeding. So in that same vein, in the same vein, we have to follow transparent procedures and that is the best way to build trust. That being said, Relations between two countries are not monodimensional. There are other relationships that we need to build up. China is a big market for this country. We realize that. And I think the United States realizes it too. No? Uh, we live in a more uh, conflicted world where we hope that even in the uh, Ukraine-Russia problem, our supply chains are affected, no? being a net importer country. No? So uh, we really hope that uh, the benefit uh, of, of everybody as world citizens will outweigh you know, uh, other interests.